So this will be the final bit of the complex oscillator. Um, so two things to cover. We have a fine tune knob and we have a keyboard on and off switch. Um, fine tune, I think, is self-explanatory. We turn off the reverb. We can change the pitch. Um, gives you nice access to microtonal stuff. Um, and keyboard on and off is sort of the same way. If you've got um, something running from the outside into the uh, CV on the back, so I've got a sequence running from the Make Noise Zero control that sounds like this. Right. And so I can turn that on, <coughs> on and off at will. Um, Mostly what I find these useful for is when you're combining the two oscillators together. Um, so we're going to cover the modulation oscillator, but I'm just going to show you what's possible at this point. Um, so I'm going to turn up the volume on both. We're going to get some like nice microtonal kinds of stuff. I'm going to turn the reverb all the way up, and I'm going to turn on an even-tied H9 reverb. Um, and I'm going to do some like horror movie stuff because um, that's when this becomes really useful in my line of work, um, which is film music, um, where you can kind of build stress. So a little bit of reverb, or a lot of reverb. And I'm going to turn on the delay. nice effects with these fine-tuned knobs. Obviously we can change the sound of it too. Um, so that's one use of the fine-tune, right? We're going to play with the keyboard switches. And you'll find we can kind of take things in and out together. I'm going to leave the delay on, but turn the reverb off. have to be careful with your CV sources because here you can hear the uh, Make Noise zero, zero Control actually puts out a little bit of a uh, pitch even when it's turned all the way down so um, you're hearing they fall out of tune really easily. <laughs> with reverb. And you know you can add panning and all that stuff too. So hope that gives you some ideas. <laughs>